Hey everyone, you with Tesla Tom, and thanks so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel where I discuss Tesla, electric vehicles, and renewable energy. If this is your first time to my channel, then hello and welcome. Take a moment to hit that red subscribe button, that way you stay informed of any new content, and it also helps my channel to grow as well. Today we're going to do some calculations to examine how long it takes to pay back a Tesla Powerwall 2 using some real world data. I'm also going to show you how you can do it at home with your own power bills and also a quote from an installer. We're going to do that and much more right after this. Welcome back guys, and uh, some of you may have actually seen my Tesla Powerwall 2 payback video. Uh, I used some theoretical figures to work out that the approximate payback time was about eight to nine years uh, for a solar system and Tesla Powerwall 2. I made that video back in 2018 and coincidentally it is still my most watched video to date. However, today we're going to find out whether those figures still hold up for 2021, given that I've got some real world data now to work with. 25% of the solar output for the day. All right guys, just a bit about myself before we go ahead. I've got a family of four living in Sydney, Australia. We've got a variable speed pool pump. We've got 8.4 kilowatts of solar panels and I've got a 13.5 kilowatt hour Tesla Powerwall 2. We've also got two electric cars and for the purposes of this video, I'm going to exclude them from the calculations because generally speaking, electric cars come later into the equation after solar panels and a battery. Okay, so this is a snapshot from my Tesla app, and it shows me how much energy I've used in 2020, 8,701 kilowatt hours. And of course, having real world data like this is super handy when we're talking about a payback period for the Tesla Powerwall 2. All right, so now that we've got this figure of 8,701 kilowatt hours, how much would I have paid in electricity if I didn't have solar or a Powerwall 2? Well, that's quite easy. Generally in New South Wales, the standard tariff for electricity is 30 cents per kilowatt hour. So 8,701 kilowatt hours in 2020 times 30 cents per kilowatt hour plus an approximate daily charge of $1 per day. That's $365, $1 per day, 365 days in a year. That comes to $2,975. If I didn't have solar or power or two, that's how much I would have paid in electricity. All right, so that's one assumption we need to make. Obviously, it's more or less depending on the amount of sun, the amount of energy you're using, but... Now, this next slide actually shows my last four power bills to date. So I've covered all four seasons, autumn, winter, spring, and summer, from February 2020 to February 2021, which is just last month at the time of this video. So in total, I paid $511.89 with a Tesla Power or two and solar panels in my home. I've actually used this slide in my previous power bill videos as well, so you can verify that for yourself. The third assumption I want to make is that a Powerwall 2 with installation in Australia is going to cost you... Alright, so now we've got those figures, we can actually work out how much I've saved in 2020 with solar panels and a Tesla Powerwall 2. So, 2,975 was how much I would have paid without the panels and the battery, minus my actual power bills, $511.89. So that's a saving in 2020 of $2,463.11. Alright, now that we've got how much I saved last year, $2,463.11, we can actually make an educated guess as to how long the payback would be if I were to buy an 8.4 kilowatt system and a Tesla Power or two at today's prices. Now, I've actually given a guide because every state in Australia is subject to their own rebates and incentives. Some states offer a generous rebate or an incentive to buy a Tesla Power or two, uh, some don't. So for this reason, I've given a guide rather than concrete figures. And that way you can work it out for yourself, depending on which state you live in and depending on what incentives you get in your state. And of course, installation prices for solar and battery varies everywhere as well from state to state from city to city and maybe even from suburb to suburb depending where you live and hence why I've given just a guide for you to work with. So assuming that 2020 was an average year now of course 2020 was nothing near average but in terms of electricity saving let's just say I do save $2,463.11 every year you can actually work out how long your payback time is. So for example if you were to get a quote for an 8.4 kilowatt system and a Tesla power or two for $15,000 or less then your payback time is 15,000 divided by $2,463.11. And 
and that will give you a figure of six years. And of course, if you pay less than that, it's less than six years. Between $15,000 and $25,000, the payback time is six to 10 years using the same formula. And if you were to pay more than $25,000 for this system, then your payback time is 10 plus years. And you can see why now I've given a range because you might say, if you live in New South Wales, you might say, well, $15,000 for this system is actually pretty good um, because we don't get incentives for installing a battery in New South Wales. However, if you were in a state like South Australia where they get rebates for their batteries, then $15,000 is actually an achievable target. In New South Wales, it's probably more like $25,000, sometimes more depending how big your solar system is. So guys, if you can get your system installed for between fifteen dollars to $25,000, I think you're doing really well. That way, your payback time is actually in line, if not less, than the Tesla Powerwall 2 warranty, which is 10 years currently. With my experience and what I've read on the internet and with experts that I've spoken to, you can expect an output. Okay, so now I'm going to teach you how you can work out your payback time using your own data. So if you look at my data in 2020, without the Powerwall 2, it was $2,975. With the Powerwall 2, I only paid $511.89. So that represents an 80% saving. Or in other words, I'm only paying 20% of what I would have paid if I didn't have the solar system and Powerwall 2. So keep that in mind. If you were to install a Powerwall 2 and solar system for your family, then you can look at saving 80% uh, on your electricity. And I can tell you from personal experience that this is an achievable target because on this slide are my actual power bill amounts when I first moved into this home back in 2011. So as you can see, even for back in 2011, these numbers were quite high over the four seasons in my first year of living in this home. So don't get despondent. It's actually very achievable to reduce your electricity bill. There are some very simple things you can do in the home. Change all your light bulbs to LED, seal all the gaps in the windows and doors, and think about getting a heat pump for your hot water system rather than your old electric system. You'll save a lot of money. Uh, the solar panels only cover a little bit of your energy during the day and a little bit of energy when everyone's coming home. Okay, so with those assumptions in mind, what I want you to do is grab your last four power bills. That will cover a whole year and cover all four seasons in the last 12 months. Add those numbers up, add those figures up, and we'll call that X. X is the cost of your last four power bills. Now let's make Y 0.8 of X or 80% of what the total of X is. And that is the theoretical amount you will save if you were to install a solar system and a Tesla Powerwall 2 after taking some of those measures we talked about in the last slide. Now this next step requires you to get a quote from an installer. So let's divide the quote that you've got, let's, let's say your best quote, uh, and divide that by Y. Y is your saving, uh, your theoretical saving if you were to install a Tesla Powerwall 2 and solar system. And that will give you your payback in years. Very simple, right? Let's say, for example, X, the total of your last four power bills is $4,000. And let's call Y 0.8 of that X figure, which is $3,200. So theoretically, if you save $3,200, and let's say your quote or your best quote that you got for a Tesla Power 2 and solar system is $25,000. And I think that's on average here in New South Wales, of course, prices vary, like I said before, but let's just say it's $25,000. Divide that by $3,200, your theoretical saving, then your payback is eight years for your solar system and battery. And that slides under a 10-year warranty uh, for a Tesla Powerwall 2. It, it's really hard to gauge because everyone uses energy differently. Uh, every home is different. All right, guys, well, that is my 2021 update for a Tesla Powerwall 2 payback. Uh, looking at some real world figures as well as playing with some theoretical ones and trying to take into account different pricing and different incentives for different states, different cities, and even different suburbs in that city alone. So go ahead, go out there, get a quote, uh, look at your power bills, and of course, do the calculations for yourself. All right, guys, well, hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. And uh, leave a comment below. I'd really love to hear from you after doing some of these calculations yourself, if you're thinking about getting a Powerwall 2, whether your payback figure comes under 10 years, or if you've had your Powerwall 2 for a few years now and done some calculations yourself, whether you're still on track for that magical 10 year mark. All right guys, stay safe and until the next video, happy charging.